to Elle's Nails, where it doesn't take a million bucks for your nails to look like a million bucks. This week's theme in the 52 Week Nail Art Challenge is blue and gray. So I'm going to do some water marbling, which isn't exactly my favorite thing to do, but we're going to give it a try and we're going to do a first impression on the water marbling. I am going to use this Zoya polish that I picked up and I have a nice light blue and a nice light gray that I picked up and I have put a couple coats of the gray on already. But I've not tried water marbling with it, so we're going to see how well it works. It's nice and shaken up, so we're ready to go. Um, I have my toothpicks handy and my um, cotton, my uh, cotton swabs or Q-tips, depending on the brand. And I, as you can see, the around my nails is shiny. That is because I have my um, homemade liquid latex. Um, it looks like Broadway, but it's not. Um, I just get a big bottle of liquid latex at Halloween and I'm good for years. So um, I'm all ready to get started. Um, I just have my water here. Actually, before I start that, last week we did the Zoya um, pink here. And um, I finally got it right after the second attempt at um, doing a nail art design with it. But I'm just going to point out that this particular one, um, this is Cat, K-A-T. Um, it turned my nails, it dyed my nails. So um, even though it is a higher end polish, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not it is going to be the best polish because it dyed my nails. All right, I got my water here. It's just regular tap water. And as you can see, I do water marble sometimes because I do have a lot of paint on this thing. All right, so let me get that centered for you and shake up my polishes one more time. Important thing, have them open and ready to go. And it's just a two colored um, water marble we're doing today. Let's make that bullseye. Start with the, the lighter color. It's spreading pretty nice, that's a good sign. I don't have very many um, nail polishes that are good at water marbling in my disposal. Um, my Broadway nail polish, which is my go-to polish, is actually terrible at water marbling. So I really don't have much to work with. This Zoya polish is working great though, so I am very pleased. Ooh, it's very liquidy. We're getting a nice bullseye here. I'm just going to keep going until it's nice and tight. I actually, one of the other reasons I do not like water marbling is because I feel like I'm wasting so much polish when I water marble. Um, but you can do multiple nails at once, which I am going to do today. So it seems like the gray is spreading better, but that might just be me. Mm, you, don't. you want to move fairly quickly when you water marble. I'm not getting any polish out of the gray now. There we go. Look how tight that is. I see a bubble. Let's try to avoid that bubble. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to, oh, there it goes. Let's keep going then. And finish it with a gray. Might even get it to spread some more. Yeah, there it goes. This is a little bit messy. Always use a nail barrier. Alright, let's finish it up with one more blue, I think. don't have any particular nail design in mind um, when I'm going to go down. Um, when you go down, make sure you don't start at the very end. Go in a few layers and move down. Ah, yes, I forgot. Make sure you have a napkin handy as well to wipe off in between motions. And then I'm going to Kind of do sort of a star thing here or a flower thing. That's pretty popular. And go up. It's making a fairly nice flower. But actually, I don't really want a flower. So I'm going to do some zigzagging here and just make it look sort of wavy and see here, do I want anything else? Could go back and forth the other way here and um, I will call that good. It's just a pattern, it's not really anything in particular. Now I'm just going to squish my fingers together like this. They're stuck together now, so I can't um, change my position because of the liquid latex. So I am going to submerge them in. And then before I take my nails out, clear off the surface with a Q-tip. And I did not get my latex down far enough. I could tell you that now. But there are my nails. And see, um, if you squish all your fingers together, then you can peel off easier. So it's not really any particular pattern, but it does look cool. <laughs> um, I'll still need to clean up around the edges a little bit, but um, I think that's a pretty good look for um, blue and gray. Um, so that is really all there is to water marbling. Um, the secret to water marbling is practice, practice, practice. And uh, so that's it for this time. And we'll see you next time. Next week's theme is neon. So we got a lot of options there. And we'll see you then.